نحمده ونسلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشرح لصدري ويسر لأمري وحل الختم من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So the question is which organization should I join? I find so many people working on so many different organizations some are trying to spread awareness and Everybody thinks that their field is the best field. We are correct. Everybody thinks like that. After we have so many organizations, we are still in the worst situation. We don't have any value. Why? Because our masses are with the opposition. We don't have our masses with us. Their pages get so many follows within a few hours. Their organization got so many volunteers, whereas we don't. The biggest problem is standing alone. We are not interested in joining hands with our community. We don't want to be a part of an organization. You might be qualified, but you cannot use your full capacity until you join hands with a few people, until you are a part of a jama'ah. We should be a volunteer to organization. If that organization chooses you to be a leader, then you might serve them as their leader. But first, you have to be a volunteer. If we think about it, is it necessary to join an organization? Yes, it is a must. The Quran says, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا Hold on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa together. And we also mentioned the hadith before of the Prophet peace be upon him ordering us to hold on to five things and he said Al Jama'a. He said hold on to Jama'a. And in Surah Naam Allah says Inna Ladina Farraku Dinahum wa kanu shia lesta minhum fi shay and the people who divide and become different sects, they are not from among you. So we should be worried about being together. We should be worried about being united. It's like a tree. It's so huge. It has its branches spread out, but it has no root. When the winds come, the tree will fall because it does not have any roots. There are so many opinions about what Habdullah is that is mentioned in the ayah that I mentioned. Ibn Mas'ud who narrates two hadith that are reported in Ma'adul Kabir. And in one of the narrations, he says that Hablullah is al Jama'a. The robe of Allah SWT is Jama'a. In the other one, he says it is Quran. So if you want to make the Quran dominant, you cannot do it single handedly. You need masses. So now, which Jama'a should we join? We should look for a Jama'a which is sincere and take part. Imagine if all of the Muslims of India were united under a single banner. How much benefit would it be? There will be peace. Now that there's not going to be any Rasul, uh, nor do we have any companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him, amongst us. So which organization should we join? There are so many out there. We should look at the objectives of the organization. Firstly, Quran. Their center should be Quran. They should not be busy in targeting other organizations. We should look at an organization whose center is Quran, who is calling towards Quran. Second, they should stand up for justice. They should have freedom of speech. Imagine Umar radiallahu anhu, he was the Khalifa of the time and even an old woman did not feel afraid to oppose him. She said, how can you do this when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this in the Quran? Even if he is giving a khutbah, a man can stop him and ask him where he got his shirt from. That is a freedom of speech and that is justice. Third is they should have a movement. They should gather masses together. Fourth, they should try economic empowerment. At the time of the Prophet BC upon him, those who could not give zakah, they were provided with their basic necessities from the Baytul Mal. Today we have insurances and it is beneficial but it is only for the premium members who can give so much money. The poor are left to die 
we need to have equal distribution of wealth and for this communism rose and it failed because that is not an ideal system islam has the best economic system it is not like communism but it is not like capitalism it is different so the organization that we want to join they should have economic empowerment fifth is that they should stand for human rights and especially women's rights there are different issues regarding the divorce or inheritance and nikah and so many different things and it is among one of the things that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam advised us about in his last moments he advised us about three things salah establishing the salah and the second treating women well and treating the slaves well and the duties of the members of this organization is firstly they should be practicing themselves second they should be ready to do dawa third is they should be ready to stand up for justice today if you want to stand up for justice you should be ready to go to jail you should be ready to face the police brutality we should be ready to sacrifice ourselves we have to be prepared for all of this we did not do our job that is why we are so humiliated today and if we do not want to do our responsibility today, even today then tomorrow we are going to be responsible our future generations are also going to, going to be humiliated if we are not responsible today then our future generations are also going to be humiliated and fourth thing is they should be worried about their income the source of their income should be halal and the fifth thing is they should be active in society so look at different organizations and different jamaa and see which call which organization qualifies yes we will not find an organization exactly to our liking but look at it if their criteria matches at least 60% or 40% or maybe 80% then you may join it today it is unlikely to find a, a jamaa hundred percent on the footsteps of the prophet peace be upon him on his principles but if we find at least 60 percent or 40 percent in them then we join hands with them the injustices that happen in the world they happen between the power and the powerless so we should not just sit back and be like oh we are powerless what should we do we should try and increase our influence we should try to gain our power you want power you need to have masses with you and to have the masses with you you need to have a good objective and on your first day you will not have all of the people with you together we will start small and then eventually we will grow may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding and, and may he grant us the ability to be obedient to him all, at all times ameen wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته